Shalom Hebrews. Shalom Hebrews. This Israel been Israel for the Israelite Brotherhood. This Israel been Israel for the Israelite Brotherhood. Hebrews, I want to show you how the uh, how fast one been pulled on the whole world, and how it's up to the Hebrew Israelites to expose everything. And you're not gonna get no real history exposed. You know, if you believe in them Jewish myths that the camps be pushing, you know, these Hebrew organizations be pushing Jewish myths, and you ain't going to never learn no truth. But check this out, Hebrews, the Israelite Brotherhood, you know, we got our back. Check this. I want to show how the Sepharvims, the Sephardi Jews, are Amorites. I done demonstrated this and countless videos you know i done demonstrated how the the Sephardi jews are amorites from babylon and how that they come from this town called super that was on the euphrates and how super is going to be the town where all the babylonians god's history come from you know if you look at this right here you know you will see that uh that they kind of got, you know, the darker, the darker uh, shades, you know what I'm saying, this lighter shade, and here's the darker shade, and here's a, a darker, darker shade, well, that's the heart, you know what I'm saying, the Amorites controlled all this, this was Amorite territory, and they the founders of Babylon, and then this is, you know, where the sea that they control and their power was. This is where their library was and this is where they kept the history of their gods and and, and and the felon beings, the felon angelic beings. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna prove that the Sephardi Jews are their descendants. And then that's one of the reasons why they've been trying to get in space because they descended from them felon beings. You know what I'm saying? Them felon beings that had made it with the humans and how the Sephardis are they descendants, you know, and, and everybody can look and see that the Amorites are the founders of Babylon. You know, the Amorites are the founders of Babylon, and you know, Sipper is where the Sepharvims come from. They're Amorites, and Sipper. Sipper, this town right there. Sipper, it's that word Sepharavim. And that word Sepharavim is the Hebrew word for Sephardi, Sepharadic, and Sepharadim. There's only two set of Jews <coughs> Ashkenazi <coughs> and the Sephardi groups. Well, the Sepharavims are the oldest. The, the oldest practicing Jews and there's a lot of history behind them and they are scribes. They are scribes from Babylon and they're responsible for Babylon's history. The cuneiform writings. The cuneiform writings and the tablets that they've been finding it, it is theirs and they're responsible for that and this is what I want to show how slick they is. Now these people then translated our history in the Hebrew heritage fell in their hands and, and I'm going to show you what they've been hiding and this is what they've been hiding Hebrews the uh, the Nephilims, the giants they was in the Amorites and the Amorites mixed with them and 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 became their descendants also you know the Amorites are descendants from uh, Canaan but, but the Canaanites went abroad and when they went abroad they had mixed with you know them Nephilims and Raphilims and they even let you know this you know what I'm saying themselves you know what I'm saying that that's like also you know they got the uh, the oldest the oldest map of the world what they call the oldest map of the world uh, uh, was found in Super which is where the Sepharavims come from. They constructed this, but guess what this map showed? And they'll try to tell you some other lie and wickedness, you know what I'm saying? This map show you all the people that the, uh, that the Nephilims had mixed in, and you know what I'm saying? Like the Uritans and, and, and the Elamites and, 
in the Zogoros Mountains. I got a, a video showing how how the enemy, the Nephilims, and the Raphilims gonna be Cain descendants. C A N Cain descendants. He gonna be the the folks that mixed up with the Nephilims and Raphilims, and then they was chased into the Caucasus Mountain. You know what I'm saying? They was chased, told to get out the garden in the evening, then they had went east. East, you know what I'm saying? Man, from here, you know what I'm saying, to east, some kind of way they ended up in the Caucasus Mountain and in them caves. And then I got videos showing how that they got underground cities, you know, that stretch from the Caucasus Mountain that go all the way through the whole of Europe. You know, this is where Japhet descendants, you know, inheritance fall at and how that the Nephilims and Raphilims and Cain Canaan descendants would grab them and suck them underground into them caves. I show you how they had 36 uh, to 40 cities underground holding 20,000 people in each one of them. You know what I'm saying? And how them devils come from the Caucasus Mountain and did none of them have no pigmentation and how all of them was the descendants of the Nephilims. The Nephilims and Raphilims ain't gonna have no pigmentation. You see what I'm saying? They ain't gonna have no pigmentation. The Creator gonna have put a mark on Cain and told him to get on down and that mark was to take into his pigmentation and then his descendants gonna go mix with them Neph uh, uh, with them failing beings, you know, I'm going to show this, and then they'll even show you too, but this map that they got, the Babylonian map, the first world map, just show you how the, um, how they got around and stuff, you know, it's like I said, they went from Turkey to the Zogoros right there, that's the Zogoros, you know what I'm saying, and then they'll come in the back way and get into Babylon like that, but there'd be the no pig many peoples up in the caucus that live all up in here. All up in here in them underground cities. And then they'll get on over to the Zoros in the back. And then they'll come in. And then that's what this map show you. But they'll try to make you think that that map that they created was just for uh, trade and just geographic in the area and, and stuff like that. No, they were showing how... They uh, 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 went around from from one evil camp to another evil camp. All right, check this out, Hebrews. This them folks right here. Check this out. You see that right there? You see, see that giant? Now these folks in Super. This is in Super. You know that this is a uh, uh, the the god Shemish. Shemish. Now you know this is in Super. Them gonna be some Amorites right there serving him and, and this is in this is in Sipper and this was found in Sipper and Sipper is gonna be where the Sepharvims come from and the Sepharvims are the Sephardi Jews that was placed in Samaria in in the Hebrews Holy Land in 722 BC by the Assyrians and they would eventually inherit it the Hebrews uh, heritage when the Hebrews ran into Africa to do the African Sahar Egyptian religions. You know, we was tricked out of our heritage and I'm going to show that the Egyptian gods correlate to the Babylonian gods and how that that's like really one system. And when we broke the covenant and it's like they had, the Babylonians had the Egyptians to play us and play us out our heritage but they was all in it together but you see how dude is a giant right there see how dude is a giant right there bigger than everybody else well check this out we recorded them in the bible and them gonna be the folks in the bible and the amorites are descended from them you see what i'm saying and we had to fight them when we come out of africa come out of egypt and those are the uh, uh his descendants are the Amorites. That giant there, his descendants are the Amorites. And we had to fight them. So let's establish this history. And then I'm going to show you some more history. You know what I'm saying? Related to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you. You know, first we must know that the, uh, that the uh, Amorites are from Babylon. And they are the founders of Babylon. And if you read uh, about the Amorites in Babylon, 
you will see that the Amorite name means Westerner. Westerner. And they are responsible for Western civilization. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I say that the Amorites got the records of the uh, of of the creation that's coming off them felling beings that had made it with uh, uh, Cain uh, uh, descendants. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show this. Alright, if you go to Genesis 6, and then this is called the antivellum. The, the, the antivellum, uh, 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 a point between the the creation and the flood you know and and this records these records are supposed to have been hidden in silver you know that's where the separate beams come from all right if you go to uh if you go to genesis 6 genesis 6 you'll see it say and it come to pass when man began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of Yah saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Now that word fair go means white, bright. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I got videos showing how Cain descendants, not the Canaanites, but Cain descendants had Tezzeret on them. And, and they didn't have no pigmentation, so they would be fair. You know what I'm saying? And then it makes sense. For them angelic beings probably to mate with them because them angelic beings probably don't have no pigmentation either. You know what I'm saying? As they punishment for mixing with them, uh -oh, mixing with the Hermans, that the Creator would probably take their pigmentation and they probably wouldn't need no pigmentation because they wouldn't be confined to the sun, you know, like we are here on earth. Whereas these angelic beings come from the heaven and they wouldn't be confined to the sun so they're gonna probably be some non-pigmented angelic beings you know what i'm saying and, and that the sons of y'all saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives all which they chose and the elohim said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years there were giants in the earth in those days and also afterward that when the sons of Yah come into the daughters of men that they bore children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old and of renown. Now check this out. If you see that when the angelic, the failing beings mixed it with the creation that the creator cut everybody's lifespan down. Whereas at first, we was living men to be five and six and seven hundred years. You know what I'm saying? If you look at Seth, and then you look at his descendants, Seth descendants, you'll see, man, they live five and six hundred years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Nine hundred years. Uh, Eight hundred years. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and live like a hundred years before they had kids. You know, uh, uh, Seth descendants, you know, lived to be hundreds of years old, two and three hundreds of years old. But then after the uh, angelic beings went into the uh, folks that the creator cut everybody's lifespan down, you know what I'm saying, to 120 years. Okay, you see how those giants, you know, this is the, uh, the King James Virgin, you know, in the Hebrew version in the Tanakh, they got the giants down as the Nephilims. You know, they got the giants down as the Nephilims. And, and I'm going to show you how the Amorites are descended from them folks. You know, the Amorites and them folks is the same. You know what I'm saying? If you go to, uh, let me see, this is going to be, this is going to be, all right, if you go to, go to, let me see, this would be numbers, numbers 3, 13, 13, 33, 13, 33, but, but let's go to, let me see, numbers 13, 33. Yeah, he rules them. Them Amorites are descendants 
from the felon beings, you know, and that could be showed and then that explain why they keep wanting to go up in space. You know what I'm saying? That could that explain how they keep wanting to go up in space and why they keep going in space because if they descended from the beings that would come down from out of the heavens, then quite naturally they gonna want to go up in space and then how about they gods, the Babylonian gods are are in a line with the planets like some of them you know uh, uh, the gods uh, uh, sin is going to be with Mars the moon and, and, and the other god is going to be with Mars and they steady going up to uh, Mars and the moons now we here on the earth we don't know what they doing up there and they lie so much and to show you that they lie so much is that they've been lying on the Israelite heritage and who the real Israelites are so you can't trust them on nothing you can't believe nothing that they say but but if you go to uh, Genesis 13 all right and also the uh, the, the Giants the 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 Ananukians that the Ananukis ain't gonna be none but the Anakins the Anarch, the children of Anarch and, and the Anukis, them gonna be the same people. Them Babylonian Anukis, the, the felon angelic beings. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. So we were in their sight. Those gonna be them, them Amorites, you know. Them, them giants are part of the uh, Amorites because the Amorites come from Babylon, the Sepharvims, and, and they are the giant's children. Alright, if you go to, uh, when it's going to be Deuteronomy 6.3, alright, Deuteronomy 6.3, <laughs> yeah, them giants, man, they've been tricking everybody for a long time, and the felon angelic beings kids rule the whole western civilization today you know they rule the whole western civilization and been ruling the world since the israelites broke the covenant all right if you go to uh deuteronomy 36 and it's talking about sihon sihon is going to be other giants you know sihon was one of the kings of the amorites that had lived in hushbon and Hush, Heshbon was the territory of the Ammonites. So the Ammonites got mixed in with the giants too. And I got a video showing how the Ammonites and the Moabites through the Tobiates came back from Sipper, from, from Sepharvim. And, and, and how they tried to get in our heritage as Israelites. But if you look and then you will see, you know, but all, let me see, all right. For only all king of Bashan remained of the remains of the giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Reboth of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. You see what I'm saying? That's going to be them folks, his descendants. They might not have been as big as him, but they're going to be as close as big as him. You see what I'm saying? And Og was an Amorite. And I didn't establish that the Amorites are from Babylon. Where these folks, where them giants originally come from. You see what I'm saying? That's off. Alright, if you go to uh, Deuteronomy 2. How did I miss 2? Alright, Deuteronomy 2. Deuteronomy 2, 11. Which were of the accounted giants as the Anukims. You know, the Anukims ain't nothing but the Anunnakis. You know, the Anunnakis, they going to tell you this right here, too. You see, who are the Anunnakis? The Anunnakis ain't nothing but the Anukims in the Bible. They descended, the Anukims don't be descended from the Anunnakis. And the Anunnakis mixed in with the Amorites. And the Amorites are the people 
from Canaan that we was dealing with that we had to destroy but that they all end up destroying us and then taking our heritage. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot going on, Hebrews. But if you see right here what Prophet Moses said, all right, the enemies dwelt therein in times past as people great and many and tall as the Anakims, which also accounted were accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Emims. The Horiums also dwell in Sir before time. Them gonna be they peoples, you know what I'm saying? Them gonna be they peoples that they done little tribes that them them uh, and an Anukiums them created. You know, them Babylonian felon angelic beings them created them tribes and them folks gonna be coming off the Canites. Some of them the ones that ain't listed with a name like the Anukims, them gonna be some folks mixed with Cain. Cain descendants, because all the people that's not listed under the genealogy of Noah's kids are going to be some kin to Cain. You see what I'm saying? And, and we didn't uh, uh, trace their genealogy back to their father because they was wicked. They couldn't, you know, have a, a, a put together heritage like that. All right. The Harriams dwelt also and served before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them they made it with them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelled in their stead as israel did unto the land of his possession which he gave unto them all right and then you know as you read you know what i'm saying it goes on down you know what i'm saying and it tell you and when thou comest night unto all right we ain't supposed to get the mobile church now that also were accounted a land of giants giants dwelt therein in old times and the ammonites called them zamzumians and a great people and many tall as the anakims but the elohim destroyed them before them and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead see the creator went and destroyed them giants the same as with the flood you know the flood was supposed to uh, knock them out but them folks went underground in Turkey uh, uh, where the flood couldn't get them and, and then they lived underground and then they would come back up and then they would circle around and come through the Zoharos and get in Babylon. You know, Babylon was a multi-ethnic nation that all the wicked peoples from all over came to kick it in Babylon. You know, especially when famine came the same as what the... Uh, people did in Egypt you know everybody from all nationalities came down into Egypt and, and like I said the Egyptian gods are, are parallel to the Mesopotamian gods you know I'm gonna show this all right but those are the fallen angelic beings and they descendants will be the people in the Bible you know them Amorites who we had to uh, deal with all right, then let's see. I mean, we go to Joshua. Joshua really deal with it. If you go to Joshua 13, you know, Prophet Moses tell you how we dealt with him. But if you go to Joshua, he kind of give you the inside, you know, story of how we dealt with him and what we did to their kings coming out. All right. If you go to Joshua 13, 12. And Astaroth, that's going to be in an Egyptian, I mean, not Egyptian, but a Mesopotamian uh, religion. All the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which ring in Astaroth and Ederity, remain of the remain of the remain of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. You know what I'm saying? All right. And all the cities of the plain of the kingdom of Sihon, King king of the Amorites which dwelt in Heshbon who, whom Moses smote with the princes alright but you see how the Amorites are you know what I'm saying associated with the giants and how prophet Moses associated the uh, all with the giants with them giants gonna be them gods you know what I'm saying from Babylon them, yeah, and that's a whole bunch of them. All right, and then if you go to 17, Joshua 17, 15. All right, 
Joshua 17, 15. And Joshua answered them, If there be a great people that then get thee up to the wood country cut down for thyself, there in the land of the Prizites, of the giants. You see how them Canites were, were mixed with them giants? Them Canite tribes was mixed with them. The, the Prizites of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, if you look at this, and the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canites that dwell in the land of, of the valley have chariots of iron. Both they who are of Beth Shane in her towns. All right, Beth Shane is going to be what Scotopolis said. That's going to be what Ashkenazi settled at under the name Scythian when they came in with the Babylonians and uh, settled in our land during the Babylonian Wars. And Beth Shane is going to be where they settled at. And, and the name of it today is Scotopolis. And that's what Ashkenazi settled at. And Ashkenazi are the Scythians. You know, they settled in our land. In uh, 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 during the Babylonian Wars, all right. But you see how the Amorites are, are mixed with the Giants, and, and and they'll tell you right here, you know that that name Anunnaki comes from the uh, from the phrase that uh, Zachariah Sitchin made possible. And then this is what I want to explain to Hebrews that the whole Babylonian history, when they find those cuneiform when they find those cuneiform uh, uh, texts uh, uh, and tablets and so forth, how about the Jews are so slick that they are the ones that translate the cuneiform writings and then pretend like they just now discovering it and learning how to interpret it. When they are from the place that wrote it long time ago, now whether they forgot how to read it or not I doubt it because they never lost touch with Babylon and, and, and a lot of the cuneiform texts the day that's being found was hidden and stuff in the, in the ground and I guess they probably didn't expect people to find them but when they was found you know because people you know went to their old uh, uh, places and started digging the archaeology I guess the uh the Sephardi Jews kind of prompted that they want to find their tablets and their history and preserve it. They done already tricked the, uh, the world and got the people thinking that they are the Hebrew Israelites. Well, how about those uh, uh, Babylonian scribes, the Sephardis, translated the cuneiform texts. If you look at all the history of the cuneiform texts being translated and, and, and copied and studied you're gonna find jews all around it and it ain't gonna be nothing but jews it'll be some other folks you know that you know from france and so forth you know they got interested in it but it's gonna be the jews from those nations controlling those colleges that fund those expeditions to go or uh, find those cuneiform texts well check this out if you look look the tablet of Shemesh that's gonna be dude right there and that's gonna be one of them giants in the Bible that the Amorites are descended from and mixed up with okay Hebrews how about that they'll tell you that all they stuff that been finding of late them cuneiform tablets that's been important has been found in Sipper look the tablet of Shemesh Recovered from the ancient Babylonian city of Sippor in southern what they call Iraq in 1881. You know what I'm saying? And then they go on to tell you, you know what I'm saying, about the, the uh, Shemesh, the God, the sun God, you know what I'm saying, and, and so forth. All right, that's going to be, he going to be, he going to be one of those uh, uh, giants. And his descendants are going to be the ones in the promised land that we had contact with you know what i'm saying see when the creator you know flooded them all of them didn't die because the amorites are founders of babylon and then they came from babylon you know they was already from uh, uh canaan and then you know they would go down there and hang out and then that's where them giants was that we encountered when we come out of egypt okay if you go to let me see what's this how could i miss that joshua 12. Joshua 12. Look. 
and of the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was of the remain of the giants that dwell in in, in Ashtaroth. You know what I'm saying? So we know that them Amorites, we know that them Amorites are the children of the giants. You know what I'm saying? And, and the word Amorite means Westerner. They responsible for Western civilization. Well, let me show you how those Amorites, them, them giants, descendants got the Israelite heritage. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, if you look, you know, Sepharabim, Amorite equals Sepharabim. Sepharabim equals Sephardim. Sepharadim and Sepharadim. They're Canites. You know, Jew is the, you know, equals Jebusite, Amorites. Okay, in 722 BC, when we Hebrew Israelites were slipping on Egyptian religion, we was on Egyptian religion and you know, some uh, Babylonian scribes, them Nephilim's descendants, the uh, Sephardis was placed in Samaria. And, and we didn't bother them because we was doing Egyptian religion. You know, we didn't bother them because we was doing Egyptian religion. And then there was some Canaanite folks in the land that we never drove out. So, you know, it's a lot going on. All right. If you go to uh, 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 24. You will see that the Seherevins are placed in Samaria. Now that's gonna be them giants' descendants. That's gonna be them giants' descendants. You know, that's gonna be them giants' descendants. That's gonna be them right there. You know what I'm saying? Placed in Samaria. Man, they ain't as tall as them hills, you know, and that's where that word Semitic come from because they mix with people and kind of got that giant gene out of them. And and then how they just uh, uh, look normal and stuff, but they mix, you know that term Semitic means mix, semi, and they mix with a lot of people. They mix with a lot of people. And you know the Mobites, they mix with the Mobites, the Ammonites, they mix with uh, 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 man, man, a whole lot of uh, different tribes. And basically all our enemies, the Amorites mix with the, with the Edomites, so, you know, they can look, you know, with a little pigmentation and, 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 and then they try to trick everybody and, and say that the Jews have olive skin. We know that the only, you know, color of olives is going to be green and black. So that ain't true. All right, check this out. The Sepharavims placed in Samaria. Them going to be the giants descendants, the fallen angelic beings descendants. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Cutter and from Ava and from Hamath and from Sepharavim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children Israel and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. You know, if you look and read, you'll see that they will start to do our heritage and everything. Okay, we was on Egyptian religion like like for uh man when they was placed in our land we probably had been on the egyptian religion man for about 200 some years close to 200 some years because you know the egyptian religion got cleaned up that jerobahim brung out of egypt and put on the northern kingdom uh, uh king josiah cleaned it up and after king josiah cleaned it up we would be free of egyptian religion for 30 years and then the Egyptians would kill King Josiah and then we would go back into Africa but like I say it's a lot going on and I have some videos covering the history of how wicked we was how wicked and evil we was and how we didn't have no respect for the creator or his laws and how we basically just wanted to do the Egyptian religion where we came from you know we thought that doing the Egyptian religion, we prospered and did better. And man, I, we got our mouth tore out. Okay, you know, I can establish that history. You know, how we, you know, worship the Egyptian religion coming from uh, uh, Solomon's death. You know, that's like I got a video. You know, I really didn't go into the detail like I wanted to of how Solomon was real wicked. I, I'm talking about, you know, if you listen to the history 
of the Israelites by the Babylonian scribes, they would deceive you. And it's basically just the opposite of everything they say. That's like they say uh, it was uh, uh, 10 lost tribes. It never was any 10 lost tribes. I proved that in all the videos. And, and then how they try to say that Solomon was a wise king and how he was the wisest man on the earth. How about Solomon was the most foolish person on the earth and that how Solomon is basically the reason why we Israelites are in captivity now and lost our heritage because it was through Solomon that the uh that the enemies got in you know what I'm saying uh, uh, Solomon had a child by an Ammonite woman and then Jeroboam come out and then Solomon had chased Jeroboam from the tribe of Ephraim into Egypt to his relatives who gave him the Egyptian religion that when he came out after Solomon's death he put that on us and that would cause us to sin for 300 years from 931 BC to around about uh, uh, 631 or uh, uh, 6 you know around about that time and, and that King Josiah cleaned the Egyptian religion up and that the e wicked Egyptians would kill King Josiah and put us back on the Egyptian religion and we would go into Africa and abandon our heritage to those Babylonian scribes, those Amorites, the people that are descended from those giants right there. Like I showed you, you know, this 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 history about the uh the Anunnakiums and and the uh Babylonian gods, all that come from super and Sep Harvey and then I got a video out showing how during the Babylonian uh, wars and after how the Sep Harvey's went home to Sipper and tried to mask that off as the Israelites integrating into Babylonian society it's a whole lot going on Hebrews it's a whole lot going on and, and the majority of the Hebrews don't have a clue what's going on and how they lost and still sleep well, you got to get with the Israelite brotherhood to uh, get a sense of what's going on. And, and also, Hebrews, I need you, Hebrews, to support the Israelite brotherhood and subscribe. All right, Hebrews, you know, I done showed you how the Amorites are the giants and how they got our heritage. You know, I got videos going in, into detail about how we Hebrews was driven off the land and, and how we broke the covenant. You know, and how that allowed our enemies to get our heritage. All right, let's look some more at Silver. All right. All right. The anti devolian you know what I'm saying? This is the uh, is a time period referred to in the Bible between the fall of humans and the Genesis flood narrative. You know, that's going to be with them giants that I showed and how they made it with the... Uh, with, with the descendants of Cain and how you know they would have children and daughters that would be giants and how that those giants were in Sipper and Nipper and how that they are, are, are mixed and became one. So the Sepharavims are the felon angelic beings. They would represent the felon angelic beings today. The the Sepharavims will represent the felon angelic beings today, the Nephilims, because they are Amorites and they was placed in Samaria during the time that the uh that them folks was around and how they have an unbroken chain from the giants to now. And it's like, you know, the Babylonian Sepharvims got a history that go all the way back to the Tower of Babel to now. So they going to be descendants of the giants, the uh, Nephilims, the felon angelic beings, going to be the Sepharvims, the Sephardi Jews, as I just proven. Those are going to be the, uh, the, uh, the, the Nephilims are, are going to be the Amorites, and the Amorites are going to be the Sepharvims, and the Sepharvims are the Sephardi, Sepharidic, and Sepharidim. You know, Sep, Sepharidim are the, uh, Amorites that mix with the uh, Edomites and what they call Arabs and so forth. And the Sephardi gonna be the uh, Amorites that mix with the uh, with the Europeans and uh, uh, so forth. You know what I'm saying? 
up in Europe, Ashkenazi and so forth. And, and Sephardi is just, you know, all of them. And they are from Sephardim. And that's Sipper. And that's where those felon angelic beings come from. That's like if you look at that world map that they got. You know what I'm saying? They'll try, you know what I'm saying? They'll show you that, all right, that's the Babylonian map of the world that show you all the people and lands that had got connected to the Nephilim. You know what I'm saying? And they'll try to say that it's something else. But I'm here to tell you that that's what it is. Look, you see the the Uritans up there, the Uritans and the Cimmerans and the Perigans and the Scythians, all them going have Cain in them and they gonna have that beast land. You see what I'm saying? They gonna have that beast land in them. And, and, and then how they would get on down to the Zogar's Mountain. All right, if you look at this map of uh, ancient Babylon, they gonna be named in some of these places. Look, Urta right there. They go Urta. And them in the mountains where they, you know what I'm saying? The Caucasus Mountain, Urta, and you know, unknown place, Swamp, Elam. Beth Yankin is going to be what those uh, uh, Ar Ar Armenians come from. Them going to be uh, Amorite, Edomite stock. You know what I'm saying? And how they lived in all them parts and how they was all connected. And then they got, you know, on the map telling you what some mythological uh, devils and demons was and how to get to them. You know, and then they was underground and stuff. They was underground in the uh in the mountains in Turkey, you know, in them caves that was underground that, that had like thirty six uh, uh cities underground that held like twenty thousand people in it. You know, that's you know, that's on there. And and in that map, that world map uh, of Babylon show you how the Nephilims got from one spot to another, but they'll try to tell you that it's something else. Alright. You know, them folks are slick, and that, you know, the Amorites, those are the Amorites, and that's they, God, Shemesh, them felon angelic beings that was in Genesis, and how they would pass everything, they know how, over to them, and that's how they got their civilization going, too. All right. Super. You know, if you read, you know, to tell you that Sipper was the place where all the people come kicking out the Kishites and the uh, the, uh, the the folks from the uh, Zogaros and oh man, everywhere, all the wicked evil people came and kicked it in Babylon and kicked it with them. You know what I'm saying? All right, and we know that they will want to get back in space because you know they will want to get back in space because that's where they. Uh, 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 fathers and them from them felon angelic beings. You see what I'm saying? So that's why the Jews been going up in space and stuff, so they can get back with they uh, people. And then it's like you know I had some history. You know it was kind of hard to put this video together. I've been trying for five hours, and all kind of stuff was happening and trying to keep me from uh, making this video. You know I had some history showing what Tyrus try. Is where the Sepharavim set up at and how they had trade all around the world. You know, they had trade everywhere. And, and then how, you know, they was called the covering cherub. And, and in Ezekiel uh, 28, how they was called the uh, covering cherub that's going to get destroyed. And they would be the covering cherub because the cherub supposed to be the angelic beings and so forth well you know these people are descendants from them you know what I'm saying and it's like you know Tyrus Tyrus is on the coast of uh, uh, of Syria you know what I'm saying what they would call modern day Lebanon and how it's Sidon and Tri and you know the Phoenicians all them was hooked up with them Babylonians and how they did trade and so forth and how they would do trade all around the Mediterranean area and how uh, uh, Spain was one of the uh, uh, spots that they uh, used to take off to the west you know what I'm saying to get west and do trade and stuff 
but you know you see how that uh try all right try it is in the land of the uh you know seeding is close by those gonna be some amorite held lands you know what i'm saying and some amorite held cities and we know that the amorites uh, uh the jews control the gem industry the precious stone industry is solely in their hand all right thou has been in eden the garden that's gonna be that failing angelic being you know what i'm saying this is his descendants right here but they represent him thou has been in the garden of yah every precious stone was thy covering the sardis the topaz the diamond the braille the oxen the jasper the cypher the emerald and the carbuncle and, and and gold in the workmanship of the tabaret and and thy pipes were prepared in thee in the day that thou was created thou art the anointed chariot that covereth you know what i'm saying that hide and, and i have set thee so thou was upon the holy mountain of yah you know what i'm saying that's them amorites thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee but thy multitude of thy merchandise they have filled the midst of thee with violence and thou hast sinned therefore i will cast thee as profane out of the mountains of yah you know and they in the promised land right now today the Sebhardis who control the diamond and in, in, in the precious metals you know this them the, the covering church because they are descendants from the fallen angelic beings i will cast thee as profane out of the mountains of yah i will destroy thee O covering cherub from the midst of the stones of fire then heart was lifted up because of thy beauty and thou hast corrupt thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness i will cast thee to the ground i will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee and thou hast defiled thy sanctuary by the multitude of being iniquities by thy iniquity of thy traffic and look they had a covenant at one time too because if you read ezekiel now when the prophet ezekiel was given his oracles he had to say it in cold and be real careful because he was in the enemy's hands that was observing him the babylonians had him and the babylonians were keen to those uh sephervines so he had to be careful with what he say and when you look at history today and then do some uh, uh, research on some of them names he basically talking about our enemies he was talking about our enemies all along you know what i'm saying so you know the creator gonna destroy them and put the sword on them you know they gonna get destroyed by the creator and look they had a covenant in a sanctuary under Malchizedek. Malchizedek was an Amorite, was an Amorite priest over Jerusalem, over Jerusalem, and he worshiped the Creator, but they lost their way with the Sodom and Gomorrah place. You know, they had to be destroyed. That was an Amorite place, and them giants and them folks was kicking it around there. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot going on, Hebrews. And you ain't going to learn this message from none of them other organizations. You only going to get this message from the Israelite Brotherhood. And the Israelite Brotherhood going to show us, you know what I'm saying, what we supposed to know. For the simple fact that I ain't trying to save you individually. I'm trying to save us. This message is for the whole Hebrew Israelite community. Shalom. This is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. The Amorites. The Jews, the Sebharvims, the Sebhardi Jews are the fallen angelic beings. They are the descendants of them. And they are the people that they got everything going on today. You know what I'm saying? They, they people going up in space. They trying to get back up in space. They doing all that stuff. And they show you that they are the descendants from the fallen angelic beings. This is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. Shalom.